Hey Paso, welcome to my review of Barbershop. This is, I guess, is Barbershop 3, technically. Uh, the third movie. Um, uh, it's been 10 years, I think, since the last Barbershop movie. Anyway, but in this movie, of course, you know, Ice 2 Cube is, stars in this. He stars as Calvin, who runs the box, Calvin's Barbershop. Of course, he has, you know, Eddie, his longtime friend, <laughs> played by Cedric Entertainer. But this time it's different. It, now the Barbershop is kind of co ed. It's uh, co owned now. Uh, you know, it's half the barbershop and half beauty shop with uh, Angie, played by Regina Hall. She's in it. And of course, you have the old cast of characters in this movie. You have Eve, who played Terry. She still, she still is still in. She's married to uh, Rashid, Rashad, played by Common, of course. And Nicki Minaj is in this. She plays Drea, uh, another one of the hairdressers in the store. And you have Anthony Anderson, of course, JD from the original. He's in this as well. And, uh, and I think uh, seeing Patrick Thomas, who uh, played Jimmy, He's a politician in this in this version of the movie, and he works down at City Hall. And basically, you have a, a sort a sort of characters, you know, hangers on and stuff that you know that hang around the barbershop. You, you get uh, JB Smooth. He plays uh, one stop, you know, who, who kind of rents a chair and also sells other stuff on the side. And of course, in um, <laughs> Anthony Anderson, who plays JD, he has a a, a a catering business where he sells you know food and stuff to the crew and stuff. And anyway, basically the story is about what's happening in Chicago. At least specifically, if you've seen the trailer, you know what's happening. You know, they kind of mirror what's happening in the real Chicago with the gang violence and stuff, and them trying to, uh, you know, live in their neighborhood with all the gang violence. And specifically, uh, Calvin played Ice Cube. He's worried about his son. He has a young son, and he's worried about him, his influence and stuff, and whether he's going to join a gang or or stay on the straight and narrow. And that's basically the conflict in this movie, you know, besides the, you know, the, the other little, you know, the joking that goes back and forth that was thought, thought was always good. And of course they make it topical by having them actually discuss, you know, the, the issue of violence and what to do about it. And I thought this movie was, I thought it was entertaining and I thought it was really good and it had a good message to it as well and stuff that basically you have to find solutions, you know, you know not depend on nobody else to find solutions, but you got to find solutions within the own neighborhood to test, to help stop this violence and stuff. And they, I think they go about it in a humorous and a serious way in this movie, which makes the movie entertaining and, and worth watching. Okay, um, again, I thought Ice Cube was really good in dramatic parts. And, of course, he's kind of like the ringleader. You know, and everybody else, you have a little subplot with, uh, you know, Common and Nicki Minaj. You know, Common's married, his character's married to Eve Terry. And, and he's trying to, uh, you know, you know, their marriage is kind of, you know, they're kind of passing on ships in the night type of thing and of course you have uh, Nicki Minaj playing Dre there who's constantly flirting with him and you have that little subplot there and it's and of course like I said you have the, the main plot with Ice Cube trying to maintain the barbershop and also you know deal with his son and try to make sure his son stays on the straight and narrow okay and he really decides he still has decisions to make whether he wants to stay on the south side or whether he wants to really you know you know for the sake of his family and stuff maybe move to another part of town so I thought this movie was really entertaining, and I thought it was topical, and it had a good message to it as well. And I thought it was really entertaining. Uh, I thought you know the you know the comedians in this movie are hilarious and hysterical in this, and definitely a movie worth worth watching in my opinion. I'm gonna give uh, Borrow Shop three. Uh, I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it a seven point. Give it a seven point five. Now, I'm going to give it a 7. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I thought it was entertaining and, you know, had a good message and stuff. And like I said, if you're a fan of the other movies, this movie fits right in with them. And I thought it was really well done, all things considered and stuff. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Definitely worth watching and going to see. Especially, like I said, you've seen the other two movies. And definitely this is a nice addition to the to the trilogy, I guess, in this case. Anyway, let me know what you think of uh, Barbershop 3, if you've seen it. What do you think of it? Uh, feel free to leave comments down below, and if you like this review, please hit the subscribe button down below. And I also have another channel called Paul's Views and Opinions. The link is also in the description box below as well, and links to my Facebook and Twitter as well. So please check those out. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long, and take care.